in the end, we never did go to our matinee. But Parker put on an LP of Paul Anka's greatest hits and had us sit on his tiny south-facing balcony overlooking Bay Street, drenched in sunlight. Eventually, he made me three more Cosmos in a row. He didn't ask about Marcus or David, and to my own surprise, I felt no inclination to bring them up. But we wore our sunglasses and opened the collars of our shirts and took off our shoes and socks and talked about our families and our grandparents and their grandparents. And they weren't wrinkled and dusty dead people, but young and alive dancing in the evenings under electric lights for the first time in history, and wearing the latest fashions in an era when men showing their nipples on the beach was indecent, and blacks in America were newly liberated, and the independence movement in India was gaining strength, and Freud was looking up ladies' skirts, and Manet was painting nudes, and the Kama Sutra had just been translated into English and their right brothers were still just boys of my kites. And Rambeau and Verlaine were tearing across Europe madly in love. And Oscar Wilde's trial was the scandal of the century. <laughs>